turning around is the name of the game. Let's see, what else do I need? What you think, Jen? Sorry, this kind of sucks. My little feces are cold. Got all my air conditioners on. And I keep my air conditioner on like 64. So if you come to my house, just make sure you wear a snowsuit. Okay? <laughs> um, I am making, what am I making? I'm making chicken masala. Um, and I was going to make chicken masala heroes, but I couldn't find like decent Italian bread where I was like, oh, this is worth buying. So I'm going to just make a little pasta. My husband will probably enjoy that. I'm going to make a drink for sure. I'm probably going to drink a little Grey Goose. A little simple, a little simple tonight. Let's see what I have. So I do still have one of these Clementine peach. I don't know if you were here for like a couple of lives back. I made just like a little vodka drink with this. So I'm going to make that. Let's pour that up first. Okay. And then we are going to start cooking. So chicken masala is, um, it's like dredged in flour. You fry it up in butter. Then you fry up onions and mushrooms and you use masala wine. So you can get your masala wine from the grocery store. Um, and it's like cooking wine, which is good. You know, it'll do, but this bottle was $7. Um, and I mean, just go to the liquor store. This isn't even like a fancy brand, but it's better than like the cooking wine. They don't really have many choices when it comes to masala wine. I got to say, um, thank you guys. How you doing? How are we doing today? What's up guys? Okay, let's make a drink first. And then I'm gonna start cooking. This like comes together pretty quick. I'm gonna actually also put on my water for the pasta. Just leave that in the background hanging out. And we're also gonna make a big arugula salad because I like a nice freshness with that, you know? What's up, Chicky Boo? I love your fit. You're looking good, girl. Who told you how to dress like that? Who told you how to dress like that? <laughs> you going in the basement? Thank you. Making Chinese food, that's cool. Yeah, she's a sweetie. She's the sweetest little babe, actually. She really is. That's chicken. Which one do you like? The crispy, the one in the other, I'm making most of the chicken, but you're gonna like it, I promise. I'm also making pasta. And salad. Okay. What? Spaghetti or regular? You go down there and pick. What's the spaghetti? Pick whichever one you want. Bring it back up. I Alright, so have you can have daddy bring it up there. I'm not gonna make a whole pound. I probably have one already spotted. All right, guys, I'm sorry. I'm a little, uh, wasn't so prepared today, you know? I had a lot of running around to do, but I'm here now and it's time to make a drink. I think it's time. It's time to make a drink. Babe, do you want something? Thank you. 
you. Thank you for following me. Um, are you guys ready to cook? I promise you I will do those cook-alongs again. It's just my life's a little crazy right now, so I don't want to commit to something that I can't give my all to. You know what I mean? If my name is on it, I need it to be perfect. That's just how I am. All right, so I'm going to have some vodka, some of this Pellegrino. It was good. I mean, I don't know. I'm not really into, like, drinks and stuff. I just drink ice water. So when it comes to cocktails, I enjoy. But I wouldn't, like, go buy another case of it. You know what I mean? Maybe if I'm having company. But, I mean, maybe if my husband likes it. I don't even know. I didn't ask. My shirt is actually Skims. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Thank you for the rose. Are you guys like so freaking sweet tonight? What's going on? Just got all my little pits in there, but you know I don't give a shit. Don't give a shit. Thank you. Friday has been a day. We're home now though. I love that. Um, I try to go live every Friday. Um, the summer is here now, you know, and once my kids are completely out of school, I don't know, you know, if I don't have anything going on and I'm cooking dinner anyway, and if my, you know, if I, if my husband doesn't mind, then I usually hop on, you know, I like to spend time with you guys too. I like enjoy going live and hanging out with you guys. Hi from Toronto. Hi from Jersey. My weather is, I'm like not even sure what's happening here. Yesterday it was like cold. Like I actually thought I had to put my heat back on. My husband was like, you're absolutely out of your fucking mind. Don't you dare. Yes. Mac and cheese. I'm making you a luxurious, glamorous dinner and you want mac and cheese? It's fine You want me to make it on the side for you? You're so lucky and cute, I swear to God. Well, I'm the queen. You are the queen, you're right. You are the queen. You are definitely the queen. Couldn't agree more there. You know, I didn't realize the color of it. I don't know why I didn't realize that last time. The color's cute. It's a nice color, nice summery color, you know? I'm the queen, she is the queen. She is, it's her world. I'm living in it, I'm not even kidding. You know? She's downstairs. She's definitely the queen. You know, we put some frozen blueberries in there. What's going on, guys? What are you guys doing tonight? Yeah, she wants mac and cheese on the side of her chicken masala. Okay, Serafina. Whatever you freaking want. It's really just for aesthetics. Like, do you even really eat them? Probably not. I am drinking this uh, Pellegrino Momenti. It's good. My husband does not control me, but he also has to hang out with the kids. So I have to, you know, communicate with him. Hey, babe, I want to go live at this time. Do you have anything going on? Because I'm don't. i not the parent that sits on live and like has their kids in the live the whole time. So I'll only hop on if my, if, you know, my hubby's around. So, I mean, we just communicate. I don't really think that's like a controlling thing. I think that's more of like a, um, you know, checking in with your partner and being on the same level. I'm huge with communication. Um, so, I don't know. I'm just like, you got to speak up for what you want. Because if you don't ask for what you want, you're not going to get it. People are not mind readers, especially men. If there's any men on here. Joanne Stroming, you're on my live? <laughs> Beef cheeks ragu, that's so cool. Are you cooking that? My hubby is, he's um September 6th. I'm using, um, what mascara is this? It's that cheap one. I talk about it all the time. Um, essence, essence. 
I cannot believe Joanne and Maddie are on here. How funny. Yeah, he is September 6th. So what is that, Gemini? Is that a Gemini? All right, let's start cooking though. Let's start cooking. Good looking. I need flour and a bowl. All right, chicken masala, super easy. Oh, it's over here now. I moved it. I cleaned my cabinets. I moved my flour. Okay, so someone knocking at my door. He's a sweet little boy. He wants to mow my lawn, but my husband's my gardener, so I'm sorry, bro. Sorry, bro. getting my flour. So I rearranged my cabinets yesterday. Guys, I'm a hot mess this week, okay? I rearranged my cabinets and I like move stuff all over. You ever just like go in your house and you're like, wow, the walls are closing in on me. Everything needs to get thrown out. <laughs> I am Sicilian American. So this is just regular flour. You're not gonna be like egging and breading it. You're just doing like a light dredge. Yeah, I feel like my house is like, and it's it's like small. It's like a good size for us right now. But I just feel like sometimes there's too much stuff around and I like instantly feel claustrophobic. And I'm not close to, I'm not like, I don't usually have that issue. All right, let's season it. I'm gonna put some salt. Making a blog with my recipes. So eventually I will probably do like a cookbook or you know, something of the sorts. But right now with the two little kids that I have, being a stay-at-home parent, being the, you know, default parent, because I'm home most of the time, and also creating content, like this is, th this is kind of a job for me now. I just have a lot on my plate right this second, maybe eventually, and you know, you never know what I'm working on behind the scenes, okay? You guys know, I always got something. I always got something going on. I just put... Salt, pepper, I'm gonna put some garlic powder and onion powder. I'm making chicken masala. Um, and you just wanna season your flour, you know? Gotta put a little flavor in it. You can't just put regular flour. You're supposed to season every step. Um, for sides, I'm making, as per Serafina's request, a bag of mac, I mean a box of macaroni and cheese for her. She doesn't want the pasta with the masala sauce. She wants this. And my hubby, I'm gonna just make him, I'm gonna make a little pasta for him and Mariella. And I'm gonna make an arugula salad with some mozzarella. Um, my live last week, is that when I did pesto and oregano? I put that on YouTube. I posted that to my, to my YouTube. So um, whatever I have live on here, as long as I don't have any like violations, sometimes people report me, which I'm not even sure why, but those lives I can't save. So if there's ever a live not posted, that's why. So I have never been to culinary school. Um, I did grow up in an Italian household. My mom cooked everything like we never did take out. My grandma, never, maybe a pizza. Um, and I just enjoy it. So I guess I'm like self-taught. I'm gonna get a pan. I'm gonna put some butter and olive oil and let that get nice and toasty while we dredge our cutlets. So I'm using our, um, it's a nonstick cast iron. I have talked about this pan. I got this pan, honestly, like before I even moved in this house. So it's, it's old and it's like my favorite every day. But um, the brand is The Kitchen. And I think I bought it on HSN. So I don't even know if like they still have it. Some olive oil and some butter. So essentially you're gonna dredge your cutlets. You're gonna uh, fry up your cutlets first, take them out. Then you're gonna fry up an onion. You're gonna fry up some mushrooms. And then you're gonna make a really delicious pan sauce with some chicken stock, some masala wine. And that's basically it, guys. Very easy. A ton of fresh produce. Like, oh my God, I'm this here. Oh my God. 
I have these really big bushes in front of my house. Like my husband does everything, but these bushes, like they're like tall, tall. And this, the, my, you know, neighborhood gardener, he has the tools that attach to it, like the long, thick tools. You know what I mean? You know what I'm talking about. You guys know. So he's trimming my bushes also. I've got a lot of shit going on over here, guys. So here I'm just putting some butter and some olive oil. That's just gonna get hot. This is where we're gonna fry them up. I'm gonna put that low while I dredge. Should also put Serafina's macaroni and cheese water on. This freaking kid. She is, she is the queen. As she says. What are you guys drinking today? Anything good? Okay. Let's make sure you could see me. You want to be me when you grow up? That's so cool. I'm a hot mess, guys. I mean, I feel like everybody always looks like they have their shit together to somebody else. You know what I mean? I like to put like a paper towel under my board um, and it like helps with the sliding because this is one of those booze blocks and although I love it, it's it, it's like after a while they all get warped. Even if you buy one of those good wood boards, they always get warped. My nails, I, I, I thought I posted a video of them. I have to post a video of these. They're not anything crazy. I don't really go crazy. This, is, this color is actually very out of my comfort zone. Um, so I'm going to just move all this chicken to the side and just use the same pot, the same plate. Just doing like a light dredge, you know? I'm going to just stack these on the side while my oil gets hot. My sink is so far away. I know. I mean, it seems a lot far, you know, further. My my kitchen is, is small. I don't really have a big house. I feel like my house looks so much bigger in um you know videos but i don't really have a big house i don't put egg on chicken chicken masala so my chicken franchise i do flour and then egg into the fat masala i just do a light dredge of flour very light dredge seasoned flour um and very thin chicken cutlets that i actually pounded at myself Regular chicken cutlets. I also have a video of that on my YouTube. Um, that I use egg as well. This is supposed to be like a lighter dish. Like you don't really want something battered, you know? A good cookware set to start. Honestly, I bought, when I got my house, I went to TJ Maxx and I bought like stuff that I liked there. I was never the person that went out and bought a set because I, I, I always bought the set and I never used like the whole set. Like they, even if there was like six of them, I only used like three. So I kind of just made my own set. I didn't really care about like matching whatever. I didn't, that, does, that doesn't matter to me. I just like, if I like the pan, I like the pan, you know? Um, I love nonsticks. I love a good cast iron. Everybody needs a Dutch oven for sure. Everybody needs like uh, spring form pans for cheesecakes. Like there's certain things that you need, even if it's not something you use every day to have like a complete kitchen, you know, you just need certain stuff. Uh, what else? A loaf tin for sure. Banana bread, zucchini bread, all that other stuff you want to make. You know, I love good mixing bowls, like nice, deep mixing bowls. Certain things in the kitchen I like. A sharp knife, of course. Um, olive oil, I would say to look for, supposedly they say olive oil in a, in a dark glass bottle is the, is the best, as I'm using olive oil in a can. Um, but sometimes it's just very pricey. But I would mainly look for the ingredients, make sure it's like pure extra virgin olive oil. Like also make sure the ingredients don't have mixed oils because it'll say extra virgin and then underneath and like small lettuce, it'll be like with various oils or some shit, you know? So um, definitely look for that. 
make sure it's just 100% oil. I do love the Temptations things. I don't know, like, if these are pricey or not. I'm not going to lie. My mother buys these for me all the time. Like, every holiday for years, she's been buying me these. So my whole collection of whatever I have is completely from her. She picks out the pattern. I didn't even go to her house and take her shit because she has so much shit that she already used. You know what else um, I like about the Temptations? They're very easy to clean, which is a big deal for me. I love, uh, I love Beth the Contessa too. So that's like the fucking compliment of compliments. <laughs> okay. So I got my oil getting nice and toasty. Hopefully you'll hear me over my God. Oh. Guys, look at the color of it now with the blueberries. Like, honestly, maybe I would buy that again, just cause it's like super summery and cute. Like, don't you want to drink that? Pretend you don't see the the lemon seeds. But wouldn't you like to drink that? <laughs> These blanket shorts are from Old Navy, and I really feel like they're great. They're like that nice, thin cotton. Like, they're like, okay, so I have like two different types of, client, of ones that I buy. So I love biker shorts with like a nice thick band that like holds you in. You can work out in them, run your errands. And then I have like ones like these that are like loungewear. Um, they're like, I think they're just like 100% cotton. It's like whatever material that their leggings are, they, they also make them in biker shorts. But honestly, I bought these last year. I just brought up like some stuff from my basement. Some of shit. Yeah, I just live in these all summer. These with like tees, tank tops. The Easter quiche was, was really good. That's not really my thing. I don't really, I'm not really a fan of stuff like that, but everyone raves about it. I, I sent home everybody with, with leftovers. They said they were going to freeze it. My shirt is Skims, actually. All right, so how you can tell if the oil is hot, you could just put a little of the breadcrumb or whatever you got, the, the flour. It's not ready. I'm from um, Howard Beach, Queens. I live in New Jersey now, though. I don't really know temperatures. I have it on medium low. Not medium low. I have it on, like, in the middle. Completely middle. And it's like, I feel like you know when it's ready. You can start smelling it. You start smelling, like, the butter is starting to get toasty. Um, when you put a dash of the olive oil with the butter, it kind of helps them both not burn. Um, cause the butter can burn on its own and so could the olive oil. So when you mix it kind of like brings down the temperature a little bit. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. This is something that you have to like take your time on it. Like I know you want to just turn it up and fry them really quick. Um, but you want to get a little crisp on them. You okay? I know, you see, I smoked them already. Oh, we're good? Yeah, but we, I'm in, I'll probably just demo them. I don't have cash. You can always go out and get it after. Or well, I'll just demo them. What do you usually do? He doesn't care either one. Okay. Or Zell, not demo. He does Zell. My gardener's just like, yeah, you know, I'll come when I come. So I don't know when he's here. I just look out the window and I see he's drunk. <laughs> Richmond Hill, you know, when I lived in Howard Beach, I actually used to go to, or my mother still goes there. Oh, look at the TikTok hat. Um, they have a really good vegetable store. It's a Guyanese vegetable store on Liberty Avenue. I don't remember the street. It's like not too far off of uh, Cross Bay Boulevard. Um, my mom actually still, still goes there and buys vegetables. They're so cheap. They're beautiful. Like the Guyanese uh, fruit stores over there are beautiful. I'm going to start frying up the chicken. I met my husband on Plenty of Fish, but I met him like um, 11 years ago. So Plenty of Fish, I don't know what's happening with it now. Is it still alive, Plenty of Fish?
Is it still kicking? Thank you guys so much. Thank you. As a 20 year old girl. Listen, let me tell you something. I, I don't even remember what I was doing at 20. So you're already way better off, okay? I am Sicilian American. We have to add the Americans. People get very angry. Because it's true, I'm, I, I am Sicilian American. I get it, I'm not even, you know, I don't want to sound ignorant. them a little brown like you're not trying to cook them you're not trying to hopefully that's not oil on my shirt that's what it is when you cook you know i try to change but it never works that way yeah i know sucks doesn't it guys here we are it might just be water though because i did just wash my hands let's pray i have been recognized a few times actually so I just want to know if anybody has recognized me and I'm and I'm awkward to you. It's just it's still awkward for me, you know. I try to be nice and I feel like I am nice, you know. It's just it's always like caught off guard. Let me get my fork. Ooh, dry shampoo. Do I put it on like now before? I just want to get like a little light fry on them. I put my, uh, Serafina's mac and cheese. Do I put the dry shampoo now? Okay, I gotta put it now. I gotta put it now. I'm hoping it's only just water. You know, I'm gonna buy myself a nice apron. I just bought myself a cocktail shake off. I'm gonna buy myself a nice apron. That's my next purchase. That's what I'm excited to buy myself an apron. <clears throat> when am I turning 35? February. Don't push it. Don't push it. I'm going to take them out because you don't want to fully cook them. They're going to be cooking and they're going to uh, finish cooking in the sauce. So we'll just take them out. Yeah, 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 no problem. Go ahead. Okay. I don't want to keep touching it because I have to keep washing my freaking hands. My hands are so dry at the end of the day. What? Why? You locked your bathroom door? Are you in it? Hold on, guys. I'm coming. No, she didn't lock it. She just didn't turn the knob. Have kids, they said. This is comforting, and to me, this is just complete chaos. So I'm like, I hop on you, and I'm like, sorry, guys. And also, my shirt, it's dry shampoo, so. Whatever. Here we are. Here we are. Yes, I am Aquarius. Friday, yeah, thank God. She is to Friday. <laughs> My husband's actually taking me out this weekend. So tomorrow I'm going to visit my mother in Queens because we didn't, um, 
we didn't do anything for Mother's Day together because I didn't want to travel on the holiday. I wanted to just chill out and have like a relaxing day. So tomorrow I'm gonna go over there and, and, and visit her. Um, and then Sunday, my hubby's taking me out for like a day date. He like planned it. I thought it was nice. Hi guys. My shirt is skimmed, guys. But honestly, I think it's just water. I don't even think it's oil, but I did the dry shampoo just in case. Just in case. Uh, my daughter is um, the end of July and Serafina is the beginning of August. I'm drinking vodka with a little bit of this Pellegrino. It's like a clementine peach. Um, and a little bit of like frozen blueberries. Let me see what kind of pasta I have open up yet. I'm going to do a half. I am living in New Jersey. Yeah, I'm from Howard Beach, Queens. Honestly, the skims clothing, I think it's very, very nice. I'm not even going to, I, I do. The, the material is so nice and soft. It's like you don't even feel like you're wearing clothes. I'm not even kidding. I'm not even trying to sell you that either. I'm not making money if you go out and buy it. I'm just saying. See, when I was pregnant, I, I didn't really care about the drinking only when I was around people that were also drinking. Cause like, I like to have a drink in like social settings. You know what I mean? So that was when I really missed it. When I was around other people, like enjoying in, in the act, you know what I mean? I am Sicilian American. Chicken Marcel. It's so funny. Cause I was talking to my husband, what should I cook for? What should I cook? What should I cook? And, um, my hubby loves chicken masala, chicken frame cheese, chicken parmesan. He loves all those like commercial ass Italian dishes. So I do enjoy chicken masala also because I do love mushrooms. Have you guys ever been to the Cheesecake Factory? They have that chicken Madeira on the menu. That's like kind of the same. I really like that too. Favorite Starbucks order. So I'm very simple at Starbucks. I drink either like a... Trenta green tea with no water, or I drink like a quad espresso ice with usually a splash of heavy cream. They just, they don't have any of like the syrups don't really excite me, you know? I just like to get the caffeine intake. I don't really care about like getting a crazy cup of coffee sometimes, once in a while, you know? But not all the time. Just give me my black coffee, give me my plain ass tea. That's all I need. Um, I do love chicken franchise too. That's another really easy one. But I did make shrimp franchise. I think that might have been like one of my first lives, actually. Shrimp franchise. No more oil. I have more. Chicken masala, and I'm making a little, uh, I'm making a little pasta for the side. And an arugula salad. We'll do that too once my chicken is fully done and everything's cooking together. I have never made panelli. I have, you know, ate it um, on sandwiches. My mother used to put ricotta on it, but I never, I never made it. I should. I should make it actually. My mother, yeah, my mother loves that shit. Costco recommendations. So I I love the cheese selection there. They have good, good cheese. Meat, you know, certain meat, the flat steak, that's the only place um, that I've seen that cut of beef. I've never seen that cut anywhere else. Um, what else do I love from Costco? 
you know, paper, paper products is always cheaper there. The um, spinach artichoke dip, so bomb. There's like actually chunks of artichoke in that dip. Really good. Uh, what else do I like from Costco? I love the blue crab spread, which my Costco the last time didn't have it. Did you ever have this little container? It's called blue crab spread. It is so good on like uh, club, club crackers. But they, they didn't have it this time, and I didn't ask. I just assumed they discontinued it or something, because Costco always does that shit. They get you used to something, and you love it, and then, like, it just disappears. You never see it again. Or they move it to a different place at the store that you'll never find. Oh, no, their pesto is very good. I like to buy that pesto in the summer, and I use it for pasta salads. I'll mix that with, like, a balsamic vinaigrette. And I'll use that as like a like a um, a pasta salad base, and their pesto is very good. I would totally agree with that. It's even so green in the jar, like it looks like it's good. I try to go live at least once a week. I try, you know. We'll see. Very garlicky, yes. My YouTube is the same thing, Leah's Cucina. Um, the link to my YouTube is in my link tree in my bio. So if you can't, if you can't like find me that way, you could just go to the link tree and I'll, you know, I have it there. Thank you. I watched Vanderpump and I also watched New Jersey Housewives. I put seasoning in my flour, salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder. I'm making a little extra masala sauce because I'm going to ma make sure I have some to pour over pasta. I'm team Teresa. I am just because she's like the OG. Are you okay, babe? Okay. Did you wash your hands? Okay. What, baby? What leaves? He's cleaning them for us, baby. He's taking care of our leaves. Hey, Mariella. Mariella's downstairs with your father. My favorite pasta shape, I love angel hair. Angel hair is, okay, so I'll do top, top three for you. Number one is angel hair, my favorite, but also there's like a time in the place. That's, that's, that's Leo. Oh, Leo. You know Leo. I, I know. Like, he was together a long time ago. Yes. No, I mean. Yes. Sorry. Okay, sorry. The queen was talking to me. Sorry. Um, Angel hair is my favorite, okay? But depends on what you're eating. You know what I mean? Like, if I'm eating macaroni and clam sauce, I need, I need linguine. Right? Angel hair I like for, like, um, gobanera. What? I have your mac and cheese cooking, yeah. Okay, I have. I don't know what you have other food. I don't know. Don't put your doctor coat on. Where's your coat? Where's your coat? Stepping on freaking kids' snacks. What, bud? You can't stand the child that interrupts. You don't have kids then. <laughs> His kids interrupt. <laughs> All kids do is interrupt. <laughs> oh my God, someone block that person, please. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> you obviously don't have kids. I feel like I need some tunes. I need some tunes. Okay, Google, play Pandora Radio. Do I have any mods on here? It's hard for me to pick mods because I also don't trust anybody to like make them a mod. You know, I feel like I have some. I just don't know if they're hanging with me tonight. I'm just, I don't know, guys. How did I know my husband was the one? Okay, do you hear what's playing right now? This is what shuffle, this is what they're shuffling for me on a Friday. Okay, Google. 
Next song. Okay, Google. Shuffle my Pandora radio. Away from it. I can't get away from the kitchen. Okay, Google. Volume three. Just don't give me super simple songs, please. All I hear is super simple songs. I got the pasta cooking over here. All right, let's cut up our onion real quick. It's just, you know what it is? It's what was on my thing last, so that's what's on my plan. All right, I'm gonna cut up an onion, so when I take that chicken out, I can fry it up. Just a little piece of onion, not a lot. Um, I do like to use shallots for this, but you know, who the hell has a freaking shallot in the house? And I have a lot of stuff. I like to keep variety, but who the hell buys shallots, really? Who actually buys shallots? Does anybody actually buy them? <laughs> Listen, I love them. If you buy them, I mean, if you if you buy them, that's awesome, you know. But I don't like. I never go to the store, and I'm like, like I always pick up a white bag and a red bag. You know what I mean? I never go to buy shallots. I'm going to put these onions in the side. All right, let's turn this heat down a little bit because I'm going to cut up my mushrooms while I fry the onion. I'm going to take this chicken out. And now from here, the sauce goes really fast. So you want to keep these onions frying for a little bit before you put your mushrooms in. Let me just check my daughter's pasta. That's done. Okay. All right, I'm going to just drain my sort of pasta. Chicken's not supposed to be cooked. So we're going to cook it in the sauce. We just wanted to get a little bit of the drippings in the pan to fry up our onions. Just, just sit back and watch. Just go with the flow. Just go with the flow. We're not trying to cook it because the chicken's very thin, so we don't want to cook it fully then and then also in the sauce. You know what I mean? I'm just making my daughter's mac and cheese because, you know, I'm not making chicken masala or anything. See, my kid wants what she wants too, you know? It is what it is. I, I'd rather make her whatever than fight at the, at, you know, the dinner table. She's still going to get chicken masala on, on her plate. She's just also going to have macaroni and cheese. I don't really care. I'm not stressing anybody out. For what? For what? They, they stress me out enough. I don't need to fight at the dinner table, too. I pick my battles. And, you know, they are pretty good eaters. So I, I can't even, like... Mariella, you can't really judge yet, obviously. And Sarah can't either. She's, she's almost six. You know, she can wake up tomorrow and tell me she doesn't want something. That happens, too. So it is what it is. Kids are always changing their freaking minds. Honestly, I, I really was not always laid back until even next my mom who was in the chat. Even now, I, I'm, I'm still like, um, I, I have like my days, you know? But I have gotten better. I can say that. I feel like Mariella totally changed me. Has made me, you know, better in that sense. All right. Seraphine is not going to change the that pasta's cooking. Let's fry up, let's uh, cut some mushrooms. And then from there, it's really quick. I don't wash my mushrooms. So if that bothers you, I'm sorry. I'm just gonna warn you in advance. So if it bothers you, maybe like cover your eyes or something, you know? 
Oh, top three pastas. Okay, angel hair for sure. I love rigatoni. And I love bow ties. Ooh, but I also love the um, big shells. Not like the ones that you stuff. I like those for macaroni and peas. So these mushrooms, I'm just gonna slice them up. Nothing fancy. I'm putting them right in with the onion. I don't put brown sugar because I buy the sweet masala wine. Um, so I, I don't personally need the sugar. They have two different types of masala. If you're buying the dry masala, I could see why you would use a little bit of sugar. But um, if you go to the liquor store and buy it, they have like options. So I'll show you the one I have. I bought the Opeachy brand. It was only like seven bucks. And honestly, if you go to the grocery store and buy like the masala cooking wine, it's probably the same amount of money. It's probably like five, six bucks too. I don't know. I feel like at 18, I definitely was not picky. I worked on Mulberry Street. At like I started working there when I was like 14. And I, I feel like I, you know, ate really cool shit over there too. I'm gonna put some more olive oil in here just because I'm adding a bunch of mushrooms. I will turn the phone eventually. I just wanna finish cutting these. Yeah, guys, I'm just doing what I do. You don't have to do this. It doesn't matter. I am drinking some vodka. Masala. It's masala. Am I not saying that properly? You don't like the way I'm saying it? Okay, well. I, it, listen, if I'm saying shit wrong, that I am totally cool with being corrected. Because honestly, it, it, you know, happens all the time. I also feel like people in different areas, different neighborhoods, different states, different parts of the world, everybody talks differently. So maybe what like you are used to is not how I say it, whether it's proper or not. Am I hurting you? I'm not hurting you. I'm just chilling. I'm living my life. I'm literally just being myself. I I, I can't. Um, I, I don't know what you want me to do. I, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm chilling. All right, so for the rest of the sauce, you're going to need the masala wine. Like I said, I have the sweet one. If you see, it says sweet. They have a sweet and a dry. So if you have the dry, you need to put a little bit of sugar. Um, if you have the sweet, that's totally enough. Yeah, maybe the thing is with the internet, people are so used to seeing like a fabricated facade of what someone's life is that when they see something that's like a little different they consider it like wrong you know what I mean or I don't know I I don't know guys I'm just chilling I can't I, I can't relate I have so many like real life things that I worry about that when I come to social media this is like my chilling like having fun you know I'm not trying to go any further than that My rice bowl recipe, it's, 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 it's coming. It'll be here by next week, I promise. I bet you that. You ordered the silverware? Oh my God, I love the silverware. My mother comes here and tells me that she's going to kill people with it because it's like, it looks like little daggers, you know? She's obviously joking. I'm just drinking a little of this Pellegrino with some frozen blueberries. So, so far, sure, I can recap. So far, I ground up 
some chicken. You don't want to cook it. You just want to get a little like drippings in your pan. And then in here, I have some onion and mushrooms. I'm going to put a little piece of butter in here as well. Okay, Google. Volume four. So the flour is seasoned with salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder. Um, this pan so far, all it has is the chicken drippings, olive oil, I'm going to put a little butter, onion, and mushrooms. I am Sicilian American. I'm gonna put a little salt in there. I'm just gonna strain this pasta. Oh my god, that sounds so hard. <laughs> I'm gonna put some salt. Just wanna cook these mushrooms down. I'm turning up my heat now. I, I had it a little lower because I wanted to, you know, focus on getting the other shit done. I didn't want to let them burn. I'm gonna put it a little higher now. I'm gonna put some salt. Once the moisture starts coming out of them, once you put salt, the moisture is gonna just start draining out. Once you start cooking that all up, you're gonna deglaze with your wine. Cook that for a little bit, and then you're gonna put the chicken stock. I'm gonna put garlic. I don't like to put garlic now because I don't like the taste of burnt bitter garlic. So there's not enough liquid in here yet for my garlic. I'll put that in once I put the chicken stock. My husband works for Corporate T-Mobile. You're too lazy to make dinner. Honestly, I feel like if I didn't have kids, I, I mean, even before I had kids, I always cooked a lot. It, it just depends. Like, sometimes I cook also because I enjoy cooking. Like, I, I actually enjoy it. And I enjoy it when I'm like this, like in this sort of setting. Like, if I have, you know, the kids on my ass and I got to get dinner on the table at a certain time, like, then, I, you know, it could be stressful. But I'm, I don't know. I enjoy it. Did I sleep train my kids? So Serafina was very colic. I don't even know if I would call it sleep train. It was just like she just cried like constantly for like three, four months. So even if I wasn't trying to sleep train, I just was like didn't know what to do anymore. So she kind of like self sued herself eventually. And Mariella just like flips out when it's time for bed for her. Like when nothing can console her, she she's basically telling you, put me in my crib, right? I'm not kidding with you. She gets like so unbearable, you put her down, she grabs a blanket and she goes right to sleep. She's like, Ma, I don't wanna do some walking, put me in my crib. And they're, they're both pretty good sleepers. I mean, I share with you guys on here when I'm having a bad night with Mariella. She sleeps through the night almost every night. Um, if she does wake up, it's because she um, can't find her blanket and wants her blanket. So she calls me, you know, she calls whoever he is, me and my husband. And we go up there and tuck her back in. She goes right back to sleep. And I'm very grateful in that sense because I'm someone who does not do well with lack of sleep. I need sleep, personally. I need my sleep. 
okay? Happy Friday! You guys are so cool, thank you. Oh, what are you making with the spaghetti squash? Happy Friday, guys. I hope you guys are doing something fun tonight, eating something good. All right, I'm gonna chop up some garlic. I'm gonna let that cook for like another two to three minutes and I'm gonna put my wine in. I'm gonna use, I got these little pre-packaged balls. This is all I had. I'm gonna probably use this, well, not the whole thing, but it's probably half of it. Thank you guys so much. You guys should definitely try this. It's a very easy recipe, so. Chicken masala, you know, I didn't I didn't create this. This has been around forever. Sometimes I'll make this exact dish and not have masala wine. And instead I use balsamic vinegar. And it's honestly just as delicious. I'm not even kidding with you. I have done that numerous times. You can't really call it chicken masala because you don't have the wine, but it's it's very similar. I do that often. Because who always has masala? Like I went out and got this, you know, to cook on live because, um, you know, I want to do it properly for you guys. But at home, you know, during the week, you don't really have much in the house. Everybody usually has balsamic vinegar, I feel like. This is a lot of garlic. This is, I mean, we like garlic in this house. You don't have to use this much. Um, can you drink the masala wine? I mean, I'm sure you can, but I'm also sure you'll probably have like a crazy migraine after that. Because especially the sweet one, it's like all sugar. And that's what usually gives you a headache, the sugar in the stuff that you drink. It's another reason why I don't like drink crazy stuff. I'm gonna wash my hands. wine in now. I will post this to my YouTube. Yeah, I always post my, my live to my YouTube for sure. Balsamic can be a substitute for masala. I just at that point wouldn't call it chicken masala. It's also a delicious dish and you can make it that way if you don't have the masala, but I wouldn't call it chicken masala. All right, this is gonna make a loud noise, so if that bothers you, turn down your phone. I'm putting like, a, I would say about a cup. So now you wanna cook off the alcohol, that takes about five minutes. Automatically, like you, you smell it. It automatically smells like that sweet masala, like I just can't even explain it. I'm gonna put a little bit more, actually. I'm gonna put like another half cup. All right. Now you want your flame pretty high at this point because you want to cook. You want to cook it off. Just keep an eye on it, you know, because this has sugar in it, so it will burn. You want to make sure you're moving it. Um, and once it becomes too low, you'll put the chicken stock. This is when I'm gonna put my garlic in. I love chicken masala too. Yeah, I'll show you the bottle. Oh, peachy. I feel like I've had this brand somewhere. I got this at the liquor store. It was like six, seven bucks at my liquor store. Cheap. Oh, peachy. It smells so good. All right, see how it's already reducing beautifully? So in the meantime, I'm gonna also cut some parsley and I'm gonna work on our salad. So once you, once the wine cooks off for a little bit, I'm gonna put the chicken back in with the chicken stock and that's gonna all cook together. Is that really loud, guys? Okay, Google, pause. Sorry. <laughs> um, I learned how to cook I grew up in a household with, you know, my mother, my grandmother. They were both really great cooks. Um, I worked on Mulberry. I've been watching America's Pest Kitchen since, like, a child. I just, like, enjoy cooking. So I always kind of just, like, played around with things and, you know, had, like, fun in the kitchen. Thank you guys so much. Just hop on live. You guys boost my confidence. 
<laughs> I did not. Would I go to culinary school? If if you guys were around for a few lives ago, my mom is actually on here too. I I mean I, I don't know if she still is, but I went. I wanted to go to culinary school straight out straight out of high school. But that wasn't considered like a real school for my family. So I didn't end up doing it. You know, my family was, you know, old school. They they know a certain way. That's just what they're used to. So I didn't go. You know, I wanted to do what everyone else wanted me to do. And I never finished that because I didn't want to do it. Guys, my shirt has dry shampoo on it because we think. But you see, it's dry already. So I don't think that was oil. I think it was water. Now I just have dry shampoo on and hopefully that comes off. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna put my chicken stock now. I'm gonna put it on medium now. So this is some water, I'll show you. I didn't have any fresh chicken stock and I also didn't have any um, box chicken stock. So I just put some water, some warm water and like a tablespoon and a half uh, better than bouillon. It's basically chicken stock. It smells so good. I mean, even that looks really good. Do like half. I want to see how much my chicken is going to take up in the pan. And I may add more, we'll see. So this is going to also thicken as it cooks with the flour that's on the chicken. That's the purpose of the flour as well. It helps tighten the sauce. So this is how I like to put it in. I like to... I'll show you this way first because it's easier for you to see. I like to put all my mushrooms to one side because you kind of want everything to be like on top of each other, you know? And I don't know if it's like my OCD in me, but like I have to have it on top, you know? So I like to just kind of like accordion my chicken around the pan. Like it'll be hard to throw the whole thing in and then mix it with the mushrooms. You're going to mess up all the chicken, all the flour is going to come off of it. You know, there's a method to my madness. Also, all this chicken juice, you do not waste that. We need that. That's like a necessity for this. Okay. Just wipe my hands. Now you'll just put all the mushrooms on here and then once you put your last chicken, you could just, you know, spread it all out. Now everything will have mushrooms on top, okay? And the liquid will be on the chicken because you want the chicken to get nice and steamy, you know? Am I crazy? Probably. Is it delicious? Yes. Okay. See, a perfect layer. put the chicken and then put the mushroom back in. But that just seems like too much work for me. You know, you probably could have did that too. And someone's gonna probably say that. You could have just took the mushrooms out and then put them back in, you know? So eventually I'll put fresh parsley, but I like to finish with my fresh parsley because I like to be like fresh, fresh. Like I don't even want my fresh parsley to, to cook. I want it to be brown, you know, very green when I eat it, not brown. Um. I am not gonna put any salt right now because that better than bouillon has salt in it. So I'm gonna just let it do its thing. I'm gonna turn it down, I'm gonna cover it. It's a piece of foil, you know, nothing fancy. And I'm gonna put it on like low. Chicken's, you know, thin. You're gonna cook it covered for like 10, 12 minutes. Cook our salad first. We're gonna make our salad now. Would I do Master Chef? Sure. Why wouldn't I? Are you kidding me? That'd be so freaking cool. I'm pretty sure I actually um, sent an audition tape to, to Master Chef a while ago, though, before I was viral on TikTok. I think it was like two years ago I did that. And you know what? I would probably do such a better interview tape now. So I should actually do that again. All right, I'm taking that stuff for my salad. Um, where's the mozzarella that I want? Tomato. 
So what's going on, guys? Thank you so much. You guys are so sweet. I know. I do. Like, I, there's, like, so many things that I would do in this kitchen, but this isn't my forever house. So I'm not, like, you know, I'm not really putting a ton of, like updates into it you know i'm happy with what it is and even if i live here for like another five years i would i would be grateful for that you know but eventually i'm, I'm gonna need a bigger house someone commented the other day they were like tell your hubby to get you an island and i was like i'm gonna tell my hubby to get me a bigger house <laughs> never want an island mama wants a bigger house babe i'm gonna make the salad now but if they want to eat i have their macaroni and cheese done too if you know i don't want you down there if they're going crazy Thank you so much. Listen, you never know what's going to happen. I I work around here too. You know, I'm a stay-at-home parent. And yes, I do, you know, social media. But you can you can make a job out of that. Especially if that's the, the only thing I have the time for right now. You know what I mean? Um, I would love to do chops. I would do any of that. So anyone from Food Network, if you're on here or you hear me, I'm down. Okay? And I'd probably win. I'm not even trying to toot my own horn. No, I'm just kidding. There is so many talented people on there. Oh my God. Talent is like not even the word. Let's make a salad. Let's make a salad. Um, I don't know when her last day is, but it's 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 not till like June, like the end of June. I have a little bit left of this arugula. I'm gonna use that. Yeah, it's at the end of June. I don't know the exact date. They didn't even tell us. They didn't even tell me when her graduate, when her kindergarten graduation is. They didn't tell me nothing yet. So for this, I'm gonna show you how we keep it fresh. Because people, I feel like it always asks me how my shit goes, how like doesn't go bad. First of all, we we eat it also, but um, if if you just take a paper towel, like it's just as simple as that. You just put it in here. You make like a little cap. You, you put you put a little hat on them. See? Just close them up. That probably lasts you like another. I would say. An, a, at least another 48 hours. I'll give you another 48 on whatever it's lasting you right now. I another 48. They have arugula everywhere by me. Okay, arugula. Let's cut some cucumber. Some cucumber. Ouch. One thing about that pan, that nonstick pan, the handles. You burn yourself on the handle. Guys, arugula is so freaking good. It's like so flavorful for a green. You know what I mean? Like, usually greens are not that flavorful. For teenage boys, I don't know. My sister has four boys, four of them. And she's always cooking. They cook like five pounds of macaroni or some, some crazy shit. Three or four pounds of macaroni. It's crazy. You can't find arugula? I feel like that's such like a staple around here. I could get that anywhere. Any store has that over here. You know, actually, I couldn't find it at Aldi's. They only had arugula and baby spinach mix, which, no. Um, I'm, I'm definitely not going to try for a boy because honestly... I'm done with having kids. I don't want any more kids. I love my kids. 
but I don't want to be pregnant anymore. I'm done. There's, I, I like, there's some women that really enjoyed being pregnant and my, my pregnancy was pretty decent. You know, I, I did have some, some shit going on at some point, but it wasn't terrible. You know, women go through way worse. Um, and I just, I did, I hated being pregnant. Hated it. I love my kids and I would do it over to them. You know what I mean? But for more kids, no. <laughs> I am not trained to the shop, no. I just like kind of wing it, you know? I need to make a cookbook one day. You never know. You never know. I'm keeping these kind of chunky because Mariella will, she, she'll, she takes it. She puts a little pointer finger in that little hole and she sucks out like the, like the pulp. She really enjoys the needles, Mariella. Um, I just keep like moving this pan a little bit. You don't want to, you know, you want to make sure it's not sticking. Escarole pie. No, I never even heard of that. Unless like my, you know, someone used to make it and we just didn't call it that. Cause that's another thing. Like people make a lot of the same shit, but they used to call them differently. They call them different things. You know what I mean? I'm just going to put a little bit of tomato. The food boss on uh, TikTok, he also owns Ariana's on Staten Island. He sent me, I'm, I'm going to actually make a video. He sent me, um, what did he send me? He sent me his like garlic spread butter and he sent me croutons. And they're good. I'm going to use them in my salad. Very good. And his food at the catering hall is really good. My sister-in-law had her wedding there. Um, the food was delicious. My favorite food, uh, my favorite place for uh, Chinese food is at uh, Tasty Moment on Route 27 in Edison. That's for like dim sum and like soup dumplings. Um, and for like regular Chinese food, like Americanized Chinese food, um, Orchid. It's called Orchid. It's on Route 18 in East Brunswick. I'm just going to put a few, not many. I'm gonna put some mozzarella, I'm gonna put some red onion. Princeton, I was actually just over there not too long ago. I went to the Trader Joe over there. It had the alcohol, but there were so many people there. I couldn't even like look, you know? I couldn't even like look what they had. I hate that. I hate when there's so many people. That's why I like doing things really early in the day. I'm gonna just cut a little bit of this. I like to try to do it pretty thin. But I already started that well. Happy Friday! I do keep my onions under the sink. And you know, so many people ask me about that. And like, I don't know. I think my mom keeps hers under the sink. I don't know how the hell I started that. I really don't. I don't know how the hell I started that. I'm gonna just put some red onion. This is just like a simple, you know, if you go to like a pizza place or something and you ask for a side salad, like that's like what this is. I'm gonna make a little like um, lemon and I'll put a little vinaigrette because I love lemon on arugula. Just 
Do they last longer under the sink? I really have no idea. The pool is open. It sure is. Yeah, I keep potatoes and onions under the sink. I don't know why, but we do. Ransom, right? Kind of ransom. Let's check our chicken. Good. See how the sauce is like thickening it up? Taste of the seasoning. Perfect. So good. All it needs is fresh parsley at the end. Ooh, cod oregano. That sounds delicious too. I think I made that not too long ago, not for nothing. I love this mozzarella too. Honestly, not for nothing. Trader Joe has really good mozzarella. I don't care what anyone says. Um, here's the paper towel. I'm gonna put some on there. I took for that. I like to get some of that water off, you know? Yeah, my shirt, but that's just water. That's not oil. That's because I consistently keep washing my hands. My daughter, Serafina, could eat this whole thing herself. That's my dining room, not my living room. I have a, I have a fruit bowl on my uh, dining room table. That's not my living room. That's where I keep my fruit bowl. I use it as like, you know, decoration because I always have nice, pretty fruit. Just put in some mozzarella. This doesn't have to be like fancy. It's just for my kids and my husband, but I like to make it nice for them. I really do. And you know, it's not in like a weird, like I need to take care of my man type of thing. I don't know. I like enjoy doing it for him because he does nice things for me. You know what I mean? And my kids, obviously, like I want my kids to know that their mom's the best cook. <laughs> Let's make it on the drying. I wish I had some salsa. I didn't have any salsa. Let's make a quick salad dressing. Equal pots, citrus, and olive oil. No margarita. I have some um, Grey Goose that I'm drinking. I love those hot and sweet um, jalapenos. I love them on hot, um, what's it called? Hot dogs in the summer. So good. Um, do some lemon. I'm not really a huge beer drinker. My husband likes beer. Beer, it's hard for me to enjoy because it's just so many calories. So I just like can't even bring my mind to enjoy it because I'm like, it's just too much. Like I, I would rather eat a loaf of bread than four beers. <laughs> I'd rather have two vodka salsas and then go get mozzarella sticks. My opinion. Priorities, you know? For me, some people enjoy beer so much that they don't care, you know? Like they would use their calories on that. But me, I enjoy Mattel sticks. <laughs> For sure. See, and you love beer, which I totally get. Like, my husband would choose beer too any day. I'm gonna also use some um, mandarin. Just because I have it here on my counter. But I like to add a little sweetness to the salad. Um, I would love to add a little honey. But Marielle is having it. I don't know when to... Stop that. It's, you know, a, a gear you're supposed to. 
I made chicken masala. I'm going to be plating it up in a few minutes because it is done. I'm just making the salad. I'm actually shutting it off right now, the chicken masala. My pasta is done. I just strained it like five minutes ago. It's in the sink. And I'm going to toss the pasta in the sauce. I'm going to put the chicken in like a bowl. So I will record me doing that as well. You guys can see that. And then I'll, you know, I'll taste it with you. I always taste it with you. So I have some citrus and then I want to do about equal parts. Just a little more. So I'm going to put a little vinegar to kind of wrap that. Which one should I use? Let's do apple cider to keep the vibe of the fruit. Um, I like to make a little extra of this because I, I like to keep it in the fridge. I also love to use it as a marinade. It's really good to marinate chicken or pork and then put it on the grill. So good. This is just a very simple base and then you could build off it. Like you could, you know, put your own twist. Salt. Pepper. My God, in this radio. <laughs> Probably because I'm not talking to my phone. I'm gonna put some parsley, some fresh parsley. And I'm not gonna put any, um, so you could put fresh garlic in this as well. I'm not gonna put the fresh garlic, mainly because if I do have it left over, I don't really love the taste of the garlic in the vinegar. It sometimes it turns green from the from the acid and like this, you know, the vinegar and the citrus. And that's just a turn off for me. So I like to, you know, add it as I go. Like if you're gonna use it as a mar like a you know a marinade, add the garlic to your marinade. And onion. But that's it. Salad dressing done. Let's take the chicken out and then I will throw my pasta in. Oh, let me put the fresh parsley in first. Serafina, I could just wipe this. This is something that I can wipe off. She's gonna give me a problem anyway, so. Gotta get used to it, kid. I will put some more in the pasta too. Once I put the pasta in, I'll put some more. Just because I like the, you know, the, the, the brightness. You need it. Especially something that's been cooking. My opinion, you know? I just feel like something so simple like that can completely change what you're cooking. So I'm gonna actually turn this back on just very low so I could just cook the pasta in the juice for like a minute. This is actually another temptation that my mother got me. You guys are so cool. Thank you for like enjoying my content, you know? I was, um, I don't know, cause I, I don't really cook like glamorous meals all the time, you know? Sometimes like I'm just cooking regular ass shit. Like those tacos I posted last night, a year ago I probably would have been like, oh, no one's gonna like that shit. Who's, who's gonna wanna watch that, you know? But in reality, that's just like how normal people eat. Like people aren't eating lobster and pasta every night. Yes, the song's in my head. Pasta and lobster. You know what I mean? I'm just, I'm just, you know, my opinion. I don't know. I didn't make that much pasta. I probably should have waited a little bit to cook the pasta, but I was on live with you guys. So. 
Greek to put it on. Perfect amount of sauce for me. I'm not like a saucy type of person, but look. So good. I'll put some fresh pasta in here too. Um, I don't have the recipe like measurements, but I, I will post the live to my YouTube eventually. Let me put some parsley in here. No, that's not my husband. That's my gardener. <laughs> I have my gardener here to cut my bushes, but when he's here, he always does like my leaves. My I have him come once a year. You know how at the end of the year you have all those like leaves that get like hard and like the corners of shit? And then from the rain and stuff, it gets harder and harder to get like rid of them. I can't stand looking at it. I hate them everywhere. So I call my homie. He's like, you know, the neighborhood guy. Like he helps everybody around the neighborhood, you know? I pay him for it, obviously. And usually, like if he comes during the day to do it, I usually feed him. And I'm not even lying about that. You can go on my Instagram. I have totally posted about that. I, I usually make them coca sandwiches. Or like I'll order them a pizza. All right, this is done. So let's serve up a plate. I'll take a bite with you. Um, and then I gotta, you know, feed my kids and shit. Serafina had pizza after school. That's her thing on Fridays. My husband takes her to get pizza. So that's why she's not waiting to eat. I was gonna take a little bite with you guys. I'll probably do a mukbang. The guy's looking at me like, what is this crazy lady doing? <laughs> I want to just get some mushrooms. I'll just use this knife. This big ass knife. Let's get a bite of the mushroom, the pasta. Cheers, guys. Thanks for cooking with me. <sighs> the guy is just staring at me eating to my phone. He probably thinks I'm fucking nuts. I mean, I would think I'm nuts too. Today I had to like record something for like this brand deal I'm doing and my husband was recording me. <laughs> my husband was recording me in like the Lowe's parking lot and he's like, just go, I don't care, I don't care. And I'm like, stop, shut it off. I was like so fucking embarrassed. This is so good, guys. Mm. So good. But I'm gonna go sit with my crew. I like to eat it with the salad, so I'll probably, you know, do like a little uh, a little mukbang. But thanks for hanging with me. Go have yourself a nice drink, you know. Have a good night. Enjoy your Friday. Leave the stress at work. Go home. Make yourself a nice meal. Have a drink. I don't put cheese on this. You, you totally can. You know, my husband may. I love you guys.